Na yoku rubongo ya bava yo. Mwami chagulanyi. Ngabu walua noruaba edimutwe. Bobo luanida noruaba na bafu. Neba edimutwe kufale bafu luma. Situ chaku ulira. Uh, President Museveni's government has come back with another strategy to discourage Ugandans, especially the youth, from joining His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Shantamu in the struggle for liberation in Uganda. And also, a popular Ugandan journalist is in trouble after reporting about the 2.8 billion Uganda shillings for the cars of the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Amonk, and her deputy, Honorable Thomas Tayewa. Well, the details are coming up very shortly. Hey guys, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for subscribing to The Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. Now, the relatives of the political prisoners in Chitalia Maximum Prison and other detention centers are requesting the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, to add more pressure on President Museveni's government so that their people can be released from prison. Now, these women say, ever since the likes of Nubian Lee, Ed Mutwe, and others were released from prison, His Excellency Bobby Wine has kind of reduced the pressure on the government, and so they want him to do like he did when the Ed Mutwe's and the Nubian Lee's were still in prison. <laughs> Ngabu walua noruaba edimutwe. Bobo walua nida noruaba na bafe. Neba edimutwe kufale bafuruma. Situ cha kuhulida. Na ye kurubongo ya bava yo. Ngabu ligulile liogela ye. Neba kula manji mayiti livunyo. Bobe la kumahulile. Ohulila yo. Yanyo no mchise wapali ya mente ya siwa. Segirinya. Nemune ngabu wali. Bebo kusewa nyana betu hulida. Na ye abana bafe. Tutu cha hulida. Chobaba ogela chino. Chobaba livayo. Sitia hapa uli za wano juzi basi balubo ongoya, chene uunya. Na ya kitebe chona cha astuka. Neche yuwa kukupolisi. Pichi zona za aluwali. Polisi ni wajiseka kubunke nko kuka kanangababa wade lubo ongoya. Pachu kolele kukubafi. There you go. Those are some of the relatives of the political prisoners in Chitalia prison and other detention centers. Now, having listened to these women, a big section of Ugandans on different social media platforms think these women are state-coached and uh, President Museveni's government is trying to discourage other people in this struggle for liberation in Uganda. Others are questioning that, what do you want Bobby Wine to do? I mean, as a party, they are doing all they can to make sure that their comrades are free. NUP has provided lawyers for these people in the courts of law. Uh, Bobby Wine has posted on his social media platforms many times about these guys in prison, and I'm sure he's not about to tire. So what else do you want him to do? I mean, he doesn't own any detention center that you expect him to go and open for them. Anyway, I don't know what you guys think about this story, but the comment section is right there for you. Well, in other news... A Ugandan journalist who broke the news about the cost of cars for the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among, and her deputy, Honorable Thomas Tayewa, has revealed that her life is in danger. A few weeks back, this was the biggest story trending in Uganda after it was confirmed 2.8 billion Uganda shillings was spent to buy these cars. Uh, we all remember the resentment this story came with in the public. I mean, everybody was questioning, how do you spend all that money, 2.8 billion, on just two cars when the situation in the country is very alarming? Now, Agatha Atwire, the journalist who revealed the news of the 2.8 billion, is saying her life is in danger and as we speak right now, she's in hiding. However, Agatha says she's in touch with her family, her lawyers and other people in her circle about the situation she's in right now. Uh, it should be remembered that some employees at parliament were recently arrested after leaking information about the procurement of these two cars. 
Yeah, so that's the information coming in from Agatha Atuhaire's camp. She's a journalist working with Civic Space TV, and uh, I think we should keep her in our prayers. Otherwise, right here on the Buzz UG, I'll keep you posted. Well, in other news, uh, Mukono Municipality Member of Parliament, Horrible Betty Bachireke Namboze, is stranded in the hospital after running out of funds. Horrible Namboze revealed the news through her social media platform as she requested her insurance company to improve on how they do their business and uh, that was before she revealed that her calls had gone unanswered. Now, in her own words, Horrible Betty Namboze said, Dear my insurance company, pull up your socks. Insurance is supposed to be convenient. How can calls go unanswered? Getting stranded is the last thing a patient deserves. The last time they get to work diligently is during the interviews to get the job. <laughs> there you go. That is horrible. Betty numbers is speaking. Anyway, that is it I got for you right now on the Buzz UG. In case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Mallards Milo, aka Fula. Thank you. Thank you.